Does everybody agree with that? Boys are more likely to struggle in school than girls or end up arrested. Men are less likely to have health insurance, even though they have more dangerous jobs than women. And that's not it. According to figures from state and federal agencies, men make up the majority of people experiencing homelessness in the state. They overwhelmingly outnumber women in state prisons. 80% of youth suicide victims are male, as are the majority of drug overdose victims. So men are in despair. We have those stats. Gig Harbor Counselor Ann Silvers and other citizens convinced legislators to propose creating a commission on boys and men to research how to help them emotionally and in school, assist them with job placement in positions traditionally held by women, like nursing or teaching. Dozens of state commissions do similar work for other groups. We think the women's commissions are incredibly important, the girls' commissions, but we're not doing it for our boys and men. But House Majority Leader Representative Joe Fitzgibbon supports a broader approach. I think we want to be really careful that the solutions that we bring forward to help um, reduce incidents of, you know, for example, youth suicide or, um, you know, or, or, or gun violence um, are, are solutions that um, that we don't narrow cast to, uh, you know, just the, the segment of our society that's been historically most advantaged. Others have said similar things, and as a group, we laugh because it's so ridiculous when you look at the facts that are on the ground. Representative Mary Dye says she's been surprised by the pushback and says it's not fair to boys and men. Because people get stuck in their old ways of thinking, and this is something entirely new when you see something and you say there's a problem here, but it's never been really looked at before. We can champion, champion our girls and women and have compassion for our boys and men. If the bill dies, its backers say they'll be back in Olympia to try again next year, but they fear the problem will only get worse. What we can see is guys are dropping out, they're opting out, and they're killing themselves. So if they're doing so well, why is all of that happening? Bills that don't have anything to do with the budget, like this particular bill, will die on Friday if they don't pass out of committee. Another bill that's been controversial that could die as soon as tomorrow morning is that one that would restore the authority for police to chase after more suspects. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.